Good morning, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota, Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, today we've got a brand new 2021 Toyota RAV4 Limited Edition Hybrid. Let's dive in and learn all about it. Hey, up front, your headlight setup. We've got LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and then halogen integrated fog lights, standard on the Limited Edition. Now on Limited, we do have a gray mesh grill up front with active shutters. And then we do have our parking assist, pedestrian detection, and our 360 bird's eye camera right there in the middle of the grill. Matte black finish on the lower, and then a silver painted fascia down there on the lower bumper, which looks really awesome on this ruby flare pearl. Coming around to the side, quick profile look. Notice we have a 18 inch super chrome aluminum alloy wheels, four wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, traction controls, 22560 R18 all season tires. Over the wheel lip moldings are matte black in color, matte black rocker panels down here, protect against curb shots when you're opening in your door. We do have factory installed mud guards, 129 extra for those. We also have color to match body side moldings, 10, I'm sorry, 209 for those. Chrome door handles, smart keyless entry system, breakaway mirrors with uh, blind spot monitoring, collapsible mirrors, LED turn signals. Rear windows are tinted, standard. Hybrid badging up on the front fender. All wheel drive badging on the lower rocker panel there. Notice we do have piano black roof rails, flush mounted roof rails, piano black trim coming all the way around back, wrapping into that beautiful rear spoiler. Okay, diving in on the back of the uh, limited hybrid, notice hybrid badging here, chrome limited and hybrid badging there, and RAV4 badging over on the uh, left hand side. We've got LED tail lights, LED black backup lights, nice piece of uh, silver trim across the top, standard on the uh, limited. Third brake light is an LED brake light. Notice we have a colored to match shark fin antenna for our Cirrus satellite radio. Rear window defrost, rear washer wiper, tinted rear windows, back, backup camera right here underneath the tailgate. We do have a kick tailgate, also keyless entry on the tailgate, and a power lift gate as well. We'll dive inside in just a moment. Focusing down on the lower part of the bumper, we've got a kind of a charcoal gray painted lower fascia, backup sensors for your parking assist and dual chrome exhaust tips coming out the back. This is not a dual exhaust system per se, but we do have dual mufflers coming out the back. Okay, diving into the back, as I mentioned, we do have a power lift gate. Opens nice and wide, plenty of room to fit your big screen TV in there. Now this one does have the all season weather floor mats. Those are an extra charge. Notice we have a speaker back here. This is a JBL subwoofer part of the 11 speaker sound system that comes as part of the technology package. Over on this side, we've got some storage with a cargo net, 12 volt power outlet, and a cargo light right here. It does come standard with the uh, retractable tonneau cover. Swings back like that. That's also removable, and you can also stow it down underneath the uh, floor here. So your spare tire is gonna be located down underneath pop that up there. Plenty of room down under here for uh, emergency road equipment. We do have a scissor jack and a temporary spare tire with a steel wheel. There's no real storage down there other than you should be able to fit your emergency equipment. We do have tie down hooks here in the four corners and then your back seats on the RAV4 fold down. You can fold down 40% or 60%. I'll go ahead and do that and give you an idea on the amount of cargo room. Handles to fold those seats down and right here on the back of the seat. 
pop them down. They fold semi-flat. Then you do have some extra cargo storage down there. If you need to throw a piece of luggage or a handbag, gym bag, what have you. But you can see those seats do fold down nice and flat. And when folded down completely, plenty of room in the back seat for cargo, long items. It's not eight feet wide, it's not, or eight feet long, it's not eight, four feet wide. But if you want to do an overnight snooze at a way station, should be able to throw an air mattress back there pretty easily. Diving in on the driver's door, uh, we've got a number of features here, including a memory uh, seat, two, two driver uh, memory seat, brushed aluminum door handle. Again, this is your light gray trim. Really nice design on the door handle, kind of a rubbery surface on the back side of the door handle, tacky, so it, it, it feels good in the hand. Power windows all the way around, auto up and down all the way around, power windows, locks, power door locks, power mirrors, bottle holder, and another one of the uh, 11 speakers, part of the JBL audio system. Take a look down here on the lower part of the dashboard. There's a number of switches, on-off switches, dimmer for your dash light, automatic high beam, windshield de-icer. Here's your View 360, heated steering wheel, and the power lift gate activation switch there as well. So a lot of different switches going on down there. Storage compartment right here, it is rubber, rubber lined so your keys won't slide around and won't bang around and make a bunch of noise. Driver's seat, you've got a full power driver's seat with power recliner, power lumbar support. We do have a four-way power passenger seat. Uh, soft tech fabric seats, light gray trim with a dark gray insert, perforated heated adjustable headrest, adjustable seat belt, side impact airbags, and here's a quick look at that panoramic moonroof up above. Great feature on the Limited Hybrid. Okay, behind the wheel of the Limited Hybrid, uh, it's a leather wrap st steering wheel. It's also a heated steering wheel, which is great. This side controls for your information center, which is up in the gauge cluster. Take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, smartphone connectivity, voice activation, sound system controls. Over on this side, we've got our dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure switches, cruise controls right here on the steering wheel, and we can change our sound system settings here as well. Of course, a driver's side airbag, very comfortable padded steering wheel. Over on this side, we've got wiper controls for up front. We also have a rear washer wiper control as well on this side. And then over on this side is where we find our headlight controls as well as our fog lights. So we do have automatic on-off headlights, automatic high beam headlights, and you can see I've got them turned on out there. So there's your high beam, here's your driving light, and I'll go ahead and switch off those fog lights. So a complete lighting setup, LED headlights, driving lights, halogen fog lights. Take a look at our instrument cluster. Now on the Limited, I'm just going to go ahead and fire it up here. So we've got smart keyless entry system. So we've got a push button start, foot on the brake, push the button in, and away you go. Okay, so of course this one is the hybrid version. So the engine may or may not start up depending on what it needs. I'm going to go ahead and switch those headlights off and give you the full illumination here. So this is an electronic dashboard and on the left hand side are the monitoring for your hybrid synergy system down the center is your information system that's a 7.1 inch information screen going on there and you can control some of the settings up here by using the information switches right here so you can go ahead and toggle through take a look at all of your personalization settings your lane uh, tracing assist pre-collision blind spot monitoring all of those things can be set up and controlled right here on the information center. You also have your trip computer. You notice we have a digital speedometer, digital clock, fuel gauge, and our engine temperature gauge. So a really nice instrument cluster across the Limited. That's um, where you're going to find that on the Limited and the XSE edition. So take a look at our center stack. I mentioned this is a JBL sound system. So we do have dynamic radar cruise control and it is a touchscreen. You can, uh, you get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's Alexa compatible, really great sound system. Uh, 11 speakers on that sound system. And uh, there's some extra ones up here in the door pillars, the A pillars. 
here and up in the dashboard here. So it sounds really great. Come on by the dealership, give it a listen. Let us know what you think. Now, the heating and air conditioning is an automatic air conditioning system. And so you can set up driver, front passenger. Uh, these knobs are quite large, which is nice because they're easy to find. But then they also kind of have that rubber surface that we saw or felt earlier when we were on the driver's door handle. So they kind of tie that all together. Down here we've got our traction control on and off. Heated seat controls are here. Now these are heated and ventilated, so you can cool them up or, or, or um, heat them up, whichever you want to do. Down here is our wireless charging. We also have a USB port. We also have a 12 volt port right there, so plenty of ways to charge your electronic uh, devices. That's your, that's your uh, wireless charging right there. We do have a CVT automatic transmission. The shifter is leather wrapped. It's really a nice short uh, uh, shift knob. Parking brakes are here, parking brake hold. And then this is where we can control our trail uh, setting. So by toggling through this little switch right here, this is where we can switch if we wanna go off road. And then we get an indicator up here on the dashboard that we've got our trail mode uh, set up. We also have our eco and our sport modes down here. Notice it turns green when it's in an eco mode. We also get a green indicator up here in the gauge cluster. And then if we go over to the sport mode, notice it turns red for sport. Same thing up here in the gauge cluster, that turns red. So there's plenty of indications what mode you're in. We also have our EV mode right here. It's a really nice layout on the center stack. Um, there's dual cup holders down here. Here's our smart keyless entry system. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the tailgate, when you have this in your pocket, you can kick to open the tailgate without taking your keys out. So that's kind of a nice feature. Armrest is a fixed position, plenty of room for two arms. There, are, there is some storage underneath with a little storage tray. Uh, and then there are two USB charging ports right down there. If you need to plug in your electronic stuff, you can do all that right there. Swinging over to the passenger seat, uh, I mentioned before that the passenger seat was four-way. It's not four-way power, it's a manual four-way seat. We do have a passenger assist grip up here. Lighted vanity mirrors on both front mirrors, and we do have visor extensions up here as well. There's a nice cargo storage compartment down here. I don't know if you can see it but there's just uh, like a shelf and it's rubber lined so when you throw stuff in there it won't slide around and it won't rattle. We also have a, a full size glove box with your owner's manuals of course. You wanna have those on a new vehicle. I did wanna show you the overhead console on the uh, RAV4 Limited. So there's map lights right here, door lights as well. There's your on light. These are the controls right here for your power moonroof safety connect. We do have a uh, sunglass holder right here and then we have an automatic rear view mirror with um, home link and this is your virtual mirror so you can set it up so it's either a standard or a conventional mirror or you can set it up to be almost like a computer screen monitor. Once again here's a quick look at that panoramic moonroof all the way to the back really really lets the sunshine in with this light gray interior it's nice and bright inside okay heading into the back seat real quickly here on the doors we do have heated rear seats on the limited edition power windows automatic up and down this is your light gray interior padded uh, door armrest chrome door handle and a silver piece of trim here. Ties it all together, gives it a nice, sporty, aggressive look. Bottle holder down on the door and there's another one of the 11 speakers, part of the JBL sound system. Take a look at our rear seats. Now these are a soft tech fabric seat. They feel like leather, but they're not. Uh, they're perforated and you've got kind of a light gray and a medium gray on the inside of the seat. Three point seat belts for all three passengers in the back. Notice this one does have the all season floor mats that wrap up and over the center hump there. We do have a folding armrest with a dual cup holder 
and then the seats of course do fold down there's a handle right here you can drop that down notice if the seats all the way back the seat will still fold it down no problem so you don't need any special uh, tools and you can do it with one hand which is nice if you've got cargo in your hand kind of a nice little tip or a feature on the back seat these back seats do have room to recline so there's about three inches of of, uh, of recline here so you can see the seats up pretty straight and tall but if you want to lean it back take this handle right here and notice it does go back flush so you do have a nice reclining rear seat on both sides down here on the lower part of the uh, center console we've got our vents with on and off switches and we do have usb charging ports right down here 2.1 amp a map pocket on the back of that seat nothing on the back of this seat here's a quick look at the panoramic moonroof really great option cost extra on the uh, limited but it is a great option and then we do have a reading light up here and there's also passenger assist grips right here as well so plenty of room for three passengers two adults and one child quite comfortably okay take a look at the engine on the hybrid RAV4 so this is a 2.5 liter four-cylinder 16 valve gasoline engine direct fuel injection and because it's connected to hybrid synergy we've got our electronic motors over on this side so the combined horsepower between the motor engine and the motor 176 horsepower 149 foot pounds of torque now this is an all-wheel drive connected to a cvt automatic transmission what's really interesting about the rav4 is it's primarily front wheel drive even though it's all wheel drive the rear wheels are powered by an electric motor and that automatically kicks in depending on what you need. So that helps it achieve 40 miles per gallon combined city highway, which is a tremendous gas mileage rating for a vehicle of this size. Now the engine has a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. That includes your CVT automatic transmission. The hybrid system has a completely separate warranty and that goes up to 100,000 miles or eight years and then the battery is covered for 10 years 150,000 miles so a really terrific warranty package on your powertrain we also have a three or 36,000 mile limited warranty designed to cover manufactured defects to the vehicle for up to three years 36,000 miles finally we have the uh, Toyota care package and that's a two-year 25,000 mile coverage on your basic maintenance. So your oil changes, your fluid top offs, and your tire rotations are no charge for the first two years or 25,000 miles. That will save you hundreds of dollars over the first two years of use. Okay, so there you go. Brand new 2021 Toyota RAV4 limited edition hybrid. Ruby flares the color. This one list price 41,777. So this is essentially a fully loaded version of the limited hybrid, including the technology package, the all weather package, the panoramic moonroof, factory installed mud guards, factory installed body side moldings, and that extra charge on the Ruby Flare Pearl. Hey, if you like this video, or if you like this vehicle, feel free to stop by. Otherwise, go ahead and like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. This is Tony at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.